you're back. That's awesome. I was sitting here. I had one more book I thought I would read today. It's about trucks. Before Bram, I didn't know anything about trucks. Well, I knew a little bit about trucks because all my friends at school like trucks too, but I feel like I really know a lot about trucks now. This book is titled Three Grumpy Trucks. It's by Todd Tarpley, illustrated by Guy Parker Reed. I wonder why they're grumpy. Hmm. <laughs> Find out. Across the sandbox, down the slide, through the sprinkler, side by side, three little trucks were scooping, shifting, grating, grinding, loading, lifting. That looks like fun. Nobody's grumpy in that picture. Oh, look at that. Those are my best trucks down. Hours later, bright sun beating. Three tired engines overheating. Fuel gauges running low. Little trucks, it's time to go. Oh. How do you feel when someone tells you it's time to go? And they're just having the best time. No! We're still digging, we're still lifting, we're still grinding, we're still shifting. Five more minutes, let us stay. Okay, okay, okay. What do you think? <gasps> okay. Well, that was nice. Oh, here they go. <laughs> Hoses hissing, warnings beeping, red lights flashing, fluids seeping, fuses are about to blow. Little trucks, it's time to... No! Must keep digging, must keep lifting, must keep scooping, must keep shifting. Tires smoking, engines glowing, must keep, must keep, must keep going. You think it's a good idea to stay? I don't know either. Please, little trucks, it's time to go. Your temp's too high. Your fuel's too low. Your windshield fluids are smelling strange. I think you need a wiper change. Okay, 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 we know one more minute. Then we'll go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't think that they're going to go either. One more minute. That's our plan. Everybody understand? Do you understand? One more minute? Somebody ever told you one more minute? I bet I've told everybody one more minute. Engine smoking, motors failing, tailpipes clanging, rotors flailing, rocking wildly to and fro. Little trucks, it's time to. Wanna see what happens? Are you sure? Okay. Uh-oh. They made an awful screeching sound. They banged their bumpers on the ground. They stomp. They bumped. They spark. They spit. They honk. They bonk. They threw a fit. Oh. You ever had a temper tantrum? I have. I tried not to do it again, but I've had. Oh, what could she say? What could she do? What could she do? What could she say to calm them down to save the day? Oh no, she had to take her hat off. She soothed the little truck's alarm, then gathered them into her arms. Their undersides were caked in oil, their bumpers dark with soot and soil. Sometimes if you're really tired and really grumpy, you need a hug from someone who loves you. She towed them home, still in a daze. Mm. I have brought people home from the playground like this. Then the 
set them in their engine bay. Their spark plugs charge, their tires exchanged, their windshields washed, their wipers changed, their bumpers polished up, and then take a bath. Take a bath. You snuggle into bed when you're really, really tired. Three little trucks word once again. Oh, look at that. Look at the dreaming of the trucks. This book is making me tired. I'm glad that you shared one more story with me. Next time I look at my trucks, I'm going to see if they're looking grumpy. Go get some rest and we'll read some more stories.